Let's continue with the show. Shala Rogers joins us now. Shala, it's good to have you on Sports this morning. Yeah, it's good to be here. It's yeah. always a pleasure to be here. Good yeah. to have Yami back. <laughs> <laughs> Yami hasn't been gone for so long. Uh, Shala, that was Coach Inde Dimadu. She was talking about what it takes to transit from a player to a coach, you know. And then she mentioned that Nigeria is so blessed that we can upset the United States of America at next year's Olympics yes. if we do the right thing, if. Yes, we can. We've always known this now. We've always said it that Nigeria has talent. We have talent locally and internationally. Mm -hmm. But the problem has always been how to harness the talent, mm. you know. We won't stop talking about it, you know. And um, I'm glad that uh, she actually made that transition. And because a, a, a lot of people still have more to offer the game. You mm -hmm. don't really need to walk away from the game. So I'm glad she's found her forte because some people would want to maybe make it into the media as analyst. Mm -hmm. They can make it back as a grassroots coach or something. But she's actually come into the system to help uh, players. And I know that they'll relate with her like that. Like, all right, you played the game. Mm -hmm. You're one of us. So this, this is a win-win for Nigeria. Yeah. I'm happy that she made this move. All right. Okay. Talking about Instagram Live, there's mm -hmm. still a lot uh, for you today. Our man right here. Osiloko Akwan will uh, be linking up with uh, a member of uh, the USN 94 squad, Finidi George. Uh, USN 94 squad, loved by many, admired by all. And so today, we're going to be having that chat with him. You can hook up with us and uh, listen to what Finidi George has to say. There's a lot, yeah. a lot uh, to be said, a lot to reveal on this. So 5 p.m., that's the time. And uh, our man, Osiloko Akwan will uh, be having that chat with Finidi George. It's going to be very, mm -hmm. very interesting so, uh, a lot to be said yeah so just follow channels television on instagram to be part of the conversation it's not twitter it's instagram follow channels television you'll be part of it and shallah we talk about living the dream so on and understand what it means to be successful was ajax legend went to spain did the same came to england did the same went to the world cup part of the golden generation finished the judge knows what it means to live the dream we're talking about living the dream uh, a lot of people have made it out of nigeria you know we have players playing in far-flung places mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Uzbekistan and all those places. Bahrain. But what Finidi has done mm. is a model that you would want to learn from. That's right. He played at home, mm. you know. He played Did with Sharks. Yeah, he did. You know? as well. And he made that progression you get. And he actually got to the peak of his uh, game. He won the Champions League, you know. He won mm. the Champions League when they didn't have too much money flowing around. It was more about talent and all of that. He, he's done a whole lot for himself, and he's also done a lot when he came to playing for the Eagles. Then he also made the transition to you get, and he's one player that has stayed away from controversies, stayed away from yeah. issues. He has more or less like a speak and span kind of career and a character, and he's this kind of guy that you really want to use mm -hmm. as role models. No, the guy is in 1994. He, 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 you know, so. before we go on with the other, since we're talking about Finidi, something came to my mind because I've always remembered, I, I, you know, as a young lad watch his career. There's something remarkable about him living here, living the shores of this country and slotting in perfectly Top, yeah. into an Ajax team. Yeah. Do you still think we have players on the mm. local scene that could just leave this moment and not try to get crashed into a big team, just leave straight forward and enter into a big team and start playing? Two things work for you, Akin, um, sorry, Finiti, Finiti then. It's style of play, a Nigeria mm. style of play. Then, then we used to play a lot of emphasis on the wings, you know, mm. of that. And of course, the player would get into the final third and do a pull out. That's what Finidi was about. That, he was fast and all of that. So that style, and if you check out the Dutch style of play, mm -hmm. it was kind of similar. Nigeria was tending towards that. It, that's why at some point we also had a couple of Dutch uh, coaches, coaches mm -hmm. coming through the doors and everything. That worked for us. Then, look, talent. Talent, when properly nurtured, cannot be hidden. So sure he had that going for him. Now, do we have that same thing going for the local lads? Do we have talent in Nigeria? Plenty. Locally, oh, amazing talent. Mm -hmm. Not all of them are even playing in the league. Yeah. You know, there's a whole lot of that. So we still will continue to sing the song, you know. We must look at this as a business, not as a recreation, mm -hmm. not as something for the boys, you know. The instant the Nigerian government puts the framework in place and understands that sports is a business, Great all of these things that you're talking about will come to play. Yeah. When Nigeria realizes that she can make so much money by still putting these talents yeah. on the global stage, yeah. look at the amount of money is being repatriated home 
on a regular, Nigerians in, from all walks of life. Yeah. But you can imagine what sports would do. Not just football now, but sports in general. But we must realize that sports is not, has never been in the last 80 to 100 years, has never been just about recreation alone. Yeah. You know, it's a business. It is a business. Because as I remember, I spoke to an Egyptian journalist. I was like, football is doing so well in Egypt. How are you guys doing? And he says, because they make the recycle their ex-internationals. They get into the system. That's what yeah. the French team, they're also doing. I'm talking about Fini the judge. You guys were forgetting. He was one-time sporting director. Was it Real Betis? Yeah, you, I think it was Betis. Massive. Also. That's you massive know, for I someone think, yeah. that has played football at that level and get, got into management. So, guys, you can be part of the conversation. Um, you can send us questions on Twitter. I'll take them to Instagram and give them to Finney the Judge. 5 p.m. we'll be having that conversation. Shala Rogers, the English FA Cup semi-finals. It has been dubbed the battle of two cities. I don't know, I was asking Yemi, will, will it be the city of Manchester that will end up getting to the final or the city of London or would they just share it? Everything is delicately poised now. I've looked at all the... Um, possible outcomes and everything, you know. The way Chelsea and Man United have played a couple of times this season already, United seem to have an edge over them, but not anymore because with the COVID, everybody has their players back and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see the way Chelsea is playing, so you can't really put your money on Man United on this one. It could go anyway. Same thing with uh, Man City. The way they actually put Newcastle to the sword, you know, and it was at St. James's Park. However, you find an Arsenal that's coming back into its own now. Mm -hmm. They had lost a few players before their first game after, just after the COVID break. A few days, so that really unsettled them. But now, you find them playing better. So, this is arguably going to be the best semifinals we've seen in like mm -hmm. four or five years because yep. these are the traditional top four teams that we are used to. You get, yes, of course, Liverpool off and on at some point. But when we talk top six or top four, these four names must always be in the heart. So this one is going to be hard. It could, it could be a Man Manchester, Manchester final. It could be a London, London final. Mm -hmm. It could be a London, Manchester, Manchester final. final. Mm -hmm. On the 1st of August this year, there will be a winner, but he has to be. Uh, I know we've already about <laughs> the semi-finals, but, but let me just take you back a little. Yeah. Of, of, the quarter, of all the quarter-final matches, any of the results came as a surprise? Look, look, I'm a Nigerian. I know. Surprise, no. No surprises anywhere. But I thought you were going to ask me about, oh, which was outstanding. Ikalo, of oh, course. Okay. Ikalo. He can't stop scoring, you know. He can't stop scoring. And, you know, they should have a song. It's called, it's, no, he scores, scores when he starts. starts. Yeah. He scores when he starts. Yeah, yeah. When you start him, he will score, yeah. you know. So that stands out for me. The man is living his dream. You talk yeah. about Finidi mm -hmm. living his dream. Igalo is living his dream. Yeah. Turned down big money to stay back at Man United. Ooh. He deserves something. If, if not for anything, he deserves at least a medal around his neck yeah. at the end of the season. Yeah. And this is most likely the only way they might get opportunity. The fans love him. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer saying the beautiful, same beautiful things about him. And look, he gets an opportunity. He's taking a shout out to Odion Hello. Uh, Odion reply that message. We want to have you on sports this he morning. Can go. <laughs> we will be sending you that message, please, champ. I uh, want you to come on the program. Um, but tough luck for Wilfred Indy the Ankele Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that game, look, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this uh, playing without fans thing. Yeah, I saw the match and it still looked funny to me. You understand? I still I tried to blot out the fact that there are no fans in the stadium. You know, some of the stadiums are picked up this smart move by playing, you know, that ambiance, pre-recorded yeah. pre fan noises. It helps a bit, but <laughs> apart from that, Leicester didn't play a bad game. Yeah. Mm. They didn't play a bad game, yeah. but it was just Especially not... Especially the second It wasn't going to be their day. Sadly, it would have been nice to have had maybe another set of Nigerians go against Igalo. You never can tell, you know, somehow. <laughs> at least we we'll know that one Nigerian will come home with you something. Know. <laughs> but sadly, it didn't work for them. Sounds and. Good. Well, they right. still have the Champions League in view. Okay. Uh, well, I, I think it's time to talk about... Uh, the, it was always inevitable anyway. Yeah. You, you even said it before some of us... Uh, I have to give you credit because you said even before some of us believed uh, it was... You, you kept on saying it was Liverpool's title to lose. And eventually, um, they, they, they crossed the line. But the manager's been talking about consistency. Uh, he's been wanting the rivals that, look, we have won, but we want to keep winning. Probably and that's just the message. Um, I, I think I feel that um, consistency is another story. You should just savor the moment, stay it. in the now, <laughs> enjoy it, you know. 
then make sure you keep the core of your team. Because I tell you, at the end of the season, the wolves are going to come out and they're going to come with all sorts of okay. offers. All right. Uh, we're going to go to do La Liga. Just to say that Pep Guardiola said, look, we're they're going to get a guard of honor yeah. uh, when they come they uh, on Thursday. It can be humiliating when your <laughs> rivals come and you have to do that. But, I mean, that's the situation it, they find of something. I like, I like the tradition of the guard of honor. It's another way to fire up your players. Yeah. You need to listen to when it happened between Man United and Arsenal and a lot of people are like, oh, we're, we're, we're actually going to be clapping for uh, this betrayer that mm. left us go and mm. do whatever. It fires up the players. So you find out that the next season, these are the players that are like, I don't want to be the one in that guard of honor. I want to be the one, one that walks through. That's so right. that's true. It's, it's not a bad As thing. As Sean Wright Phillips uh, says, look, the City player should be thankful fans will not be there. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, <laughs> before we go to the papers, let's quickly really touch up with La Liga and talk about uh, a lot of people saying uh, Barcelona sleeping up and looks like Real Madrid having one hand on the trophy. But it's six games to go, though. It's painful for me because I tipped Barcelona to win this season when I took a couple of things into consideration. And uh, I don't know why they're trying to spoil my record, you know. <laughs> so even if just for a personal reason... I still believe that Barca have not lost out yet, <laughs> you know. Yes, they haven't lost out, yeah. and I stick by my predictions. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> it's not looking very good. Yeah. And I guess uh, the coach is probably on his way out again, mm -hmm. you know. There's a lot of talk about Xavi or one of these other former players coming back. Guardiola, his name is also in the mix. We never can tell. All right, so Shala still thinking that... Mm -hmm. um, I'm not giving up on Barca yet. Yeah. Okay. okay, all right. It's going to be interesting. Six games to go. All right. It's time to take a look at the papers and um, let's see what we have. Uh, let me start from here. Complete Sports is what I have right here in front of me. And, um, of course, we'll talk about some of the things we have in Complete Sports. Uh, Oligan Social saying, Gallo gives uh, Man United options. I agree. Uh, honor the champions. Uh, Guardiola confirms God of honor for Liverpool. We talked about that uh, as well. And a whole lot of uh, interesting stories. Dortmund confident of keeping Sancho. But Shola, what, what, what gets you talking in all of this? Oh, There's well, also uh, a story about Chukweze somewhere around. Yeah, the... we basically talked about all of the other stories before now, but you know, something that comes to mind is the Liverpool story and all of that. You know, there are a couple of players who would not qualify. There's a rule in the Premier League. If you do not play about 9 to 10 games, you're not going to get a Champions medal, so regardless. So I'm hoping that now that they have games to spare, you know, Lovren, Minimano mm -hmm. and the rest of them can get a look in games. so that they can also qualify the to get a Champions medal. Okay, that's it. All right, we'll okay. go to uh, the front page of the Sports in Life newspaper. Um, still on Chukwes, I see a big picture of him there, you know, raising up his jersey. Villarreal 2, Valencia 0. Chukwes, a place for 89 minutes. Make second La Liga start. Yellow Submarines, Brighton Champions League sport because they are now fifth on the Spanish La Liga table. But this is the one I want um, Shala to respond to. Suksha. Igalo's a strong poacher. Red Devils boss says the Nigerian is highly valued. Yes, there's nothing to add to that. That's <laughs> absolutely nothing. He said it all. Yeah, he's a good poacher. I put him in that box and he's going to finish. Very intelligent uh, when he's in there. Uh, Leicester City in the FA Cup, zero. Chelsea won. In DD, Ienacho out. Chelsea to face Manchester United in semis. Uh, it would have been so good to see those, those Nigerians come out and play. Uh, in the semis, but it is what it is. Front page of the Sporting Sun, Osimen lands in France, begins another 14-day isolation. Uh, that's a good one for Victor Osimen. Uh, he's been making um, the right headlines, and uh, I think he's somebody that, uh, if we have a big signing tomorrow for him, won't be surprised. Yeah, um, it's actually a trying time for him. He just uh, uh, was that. home to bury his father. He's gone back home and gone back to France now to go and restart his career and everything. Uh, we, we pray for his family at a time like this that um, they will be 42 to bear this loss. Mm -hmm. However, talking about this man, he should be on the move any moment from now. I pray he gets a good club because if he doesn't get something that is like in the top three leagues in Europe, he should just stay where he is until that deal comes because this guy is amazing. Him, Chukwese, the future looks very, very bright. Mm, sounds good. So that's it. Uh, we'll continue to monitor everything as regards our Super Eagles players. Guys, I'm saying those messages. Keep them coming on Twitter, channels underscore sports. 
Facebook channels, I think was particularly questions you have for Finity George on our live Instagram chat today. Shola Rogers, thank you so much for, for stopping by. Thanks for having me, guys. It's always yeah. a pleasure. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you as well. Uh, we have hope to be back here again tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed what we brought to you today. I'm Ima Adebayo. Bye-bye now. For the team, I'm Austin Okonakman. In everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now.